Love can fade, and actions can be performed, but one's fundamental character remains unchanged. So, if you want to understand a person, you need to look at their fundamental character. Pay attention to where their defense mechanisms lie because these mechanisms represent the fears behind a person, and wherever their fears are, that's where their character resides. Three common psychological defense mechanisms are often observed. The first one is projective identification. This defense mechanism is frequently used by individuals with borderline personalities. When you're with them, you may often feel defeated, angry, and incapable, as they project negative emotions onto you, inducing you to identify with those feelings. If you consistently feel inadequate, worthless, experience recurring depression, anxiety, and emotional instability, drifting away from your true self, it's likely that the person is projecting onto you, and you are unconsciously identifying with their projections. Such individuals may appear strong and may often point out your flaws. On the surface, it may seem like they are guiding you to focus on your own issues, but in reality, they are projecting their own undesirable traits, such as incompetence and low self-worth, onto you and inducing you to identify with them. This shifts the narrative from their incompetence to yours. As they project their inadequacies, they retain a facade of perfection. Consequently, you find yourself in a position where they are elevated, and you are diminished, needing to please and speak according to their wishes. This process is essentially projective identification. A narcissistic and dominant person tends to project weakness and incompetence onto their partner. Once the partner identifies with these projections, they are likely to adopt an avoidance stance in the relationship. The second defense mechanism is denial. People who habitually lie often employ denial as a psychological defense mechanism. They struggle to admit their mistakes, and when faced with differing opinions or criticism, their instinctive response is to deny and say, I didn't do that, or I am not like that. Behind this denial is the desire to avoid anxiety and shame. When confronted with contradictions and psychological conflicts that they can't handle, they resort to defense mechanisms like arguing with others to shift negative emotions. In their subconscious, as long as they refute others, they feel safe. If they can silence the opposition, they believe they won't be attacked, rationalizing and balancing the negative effects on their self-perception. They may not genuinely listen to what others say, but out of habit, they negate others, gaining a sense of superiority by belittling them, leading to self-identification and satisfaction. Such a psychological state reflects immaturity, and they lack the ability to confront and resolve issues. Due to harsh punishment during their upbringing for making mistakes, even though they have grown up, the fear remains in their subconscious. When facing this fear becomes overwhelming, they ignore objective facts, triggering the defense mechanism of denial. The third mechanism is splitting, commonly used by individuals with narcissistic personality disorder and PD. In this defense mechanism, they are extremely kind and indulgent when things are good, but resort to various forms of suppression, belittlement, accusation, and even emotional abandonment when things go bad. In their cognition, they view good and bad as relative, unable to see a person as a whole or accept that a person can possess both positive and negative qualities simultaneously. When they see your value and idealize you, you are considered good. However, when they notice your flaws and believe you might cause them trouble, you become all bad. In their eyes, the goodness or badness is unrelated to your actual self but correlates with their internal cognitive patterns. People who habitually employ this defense mechanism haven't developed a genuine sense of self. As intimacy deepens, it only triggers shame about their incapacity to love and fear of the unknown. After the honeymoon phase, their attitude rapidly changes, turning your strengths into weaknesses. If you stay with such a person for an extended period, when the novelty wears off, their splitting tendencies may be triggered. The ultimate consequence of this splitting can be degradation and suppression or a sudden, cliff-edged breakup. Alternatively, they might engage in behaviors like infidelity or developing ambiguous relationships, all of which can be bewildering and challenging to reconcile. Their goal is to continue seeking someone who helps maintain their idealized state. For them, the freshness and intense emotional push-pull are necessary stimuli to sustain their exaggerated perfect self. 
If you solely rely on your own judgment, you might find yourself stepping into pitfalls. A person with numerous defense mechanisms has likely developed a trait of performing defenses to live a better life. As George Davy said, in interpersonal interactions you are not dealing with people, but their defense mechanisms.